Well, hello, second grade Smarties. Uh, this is Mrs. Holmes here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to upload pictures from, or download pictures from the internet uh, into Seesaw Activities. So I'm just gonna start off by going into my Seesaw um, activity, and let's say you needed to put a picture of a mammal. Well, a mammal is an animal that has fur. Um, it has a, several other characteristics, but having fur is one of the main ones. And it its babies are born alive, and it feeds its babies milk. Well, in order to do this, to find a picture of a mammal and insert it into this seesaw activity, first thing you would do is double tap the home button. Tap, tap. And you'll notice that it went uh, up here in the corner. Well, now I'm going to tap on Safari. And now that I'm on Safari, I'm going to type up here. I tapped up on the top thing and I'm going to uh, type in mammals. I could even say, hold down my microphone and say mammal. Okay, so it has a Google search there for mammal. So I'm going to tap on mammal. And then I'm going to come right here and I'm going to where it says images, right here, images. I'm going to tap on images. And here I have a lot of pictures of different kinds of mammals. And if I scroll down, you can see there are all kinds of mammals. Oh, the, this one right here is awfully cute. Of the elephants, and oh, and the baby, and the mama um, animals there. Those, oh, those are just so cute. Okay, so I have some pictures of mammals, and I decide that I want to use um, this picture. Oh, I think I'll do this picture here. I'm going to start with the elephant. So I'm going to tap on the elephant. The elephant is right here. I'm going to tap on the picture of the elephant. And when I do that, this box will pop up and I'm going to tap on where it says add to photos. It's right here, right here, add to photos. So I'll tap on that. And I'd also like to tap on this picture of the um, elef or of the chimpanzees while I'm here. So I'll tap on that one as well. Now this time it popped up over here in the corner. So I'm just gonna put my thumb, here it is right here. And so if yours does this, just put your thumb and hold it on the picture and this same box will pop up. And you'll notice right here, it says, add to photos, right here. So I'm going to tap on add to photos. Now I'm going to double click on my home button and that makes that small. And if I go down here to photos, right here, here's, this is photos, this icon right here, and you may find that if it's not down here at the in the bottom tray, and I'm gonna tap on this and come back here, if it's not down on the bottom tray, you'll have to just tap your home button once. And if I tap my home button once, it goes like that, and then here is my photos icon. So I'm gonna tap on my photos icon and let's see, oh, I have a lot of pictures here, but there they are right here, down in the bottom corner. Where did my thing go? I don't see it. Um, but right here in the bottom, I see my pictures of my elephant and my chimpanzee. Okay, well, I'm gonna tap on the picture. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to double tap and that puts, minimizes that. Now I'm gonna go back to Seesaw 
And this time I'm going to tap on the picture of the icon of the camera right there. So I'll tap on the camera and then I will tap on upload. And then this will pop up and I'm gonna tap on recents. And there are my pictures. Now I can actually add both of these pictures at the same time. One and two. So I'm gonna tap both ones. And now that I have that, both of them marked with a check mark, I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to tap on this green arrow or green check mark. Now you notice my two pictures, they're right on top of each other. So I put my finger on top of the picture of the chimpanzee and move it over here. And I move my elephant here. There we go. And if you need to resize your pictures, that's easy. You just grab the corner and you can make it bigger or smaller. Uh, whatever you're doing, make sure that you don't grab it by the side because if you do, it stretches the picture. Now you can fix that by coming up here and tapping on the back arrow that's right here. So I'll tap on my back arrow and it puts my picture back where it should be. Now, if you wanna add some text to your pictures, you just tap the T, the text tool, and you would, I'm gonna type in the word mammals, and I'm gonna start with a capital, so I'm gonna tap the arrow, M-A-M-M-A-L-S, mammals. And I will slide this over here, and I have labeled it. So that's how you would uh, find a picture on, an, on the internet and be able to upload it into your Seesaw activity. Uh, the same process also works if you are working in Clips or Keynote or any other iPad activity. Now, a word about the internet. And oh, one more thing, you have to tap, when you're done, you have to tap the green check mark. The green check mark is right here. If you're not done, you can tap on draft, but I'm done, so I'm gonna tap my green check mark. And I'm the sample student, and I'm gonna tap the green check mark. You won't have to do that step, but there they are. And now they're ready for the teacher to take a look at. Okay, now I'm going to um, minimize that. I want to go back and talk for just a moment about the internet. Um, this is what I call my internet talk because you have to be very, very careful when your eyes are, are, are looking at pictures on the internet because it is possible that you might come across something that is a naughty picture. Now, you have to be grown up about this. And I actually had this happen one year in second grade. A girl was studying uh, a, a certain type of animal and when she uh, typed in that name of that animal and it popped up pictures, there were pictures of, uh, it had lots of pictures of that animal, but it also had a picture of a girl in her underwear that was colored like that animal's fur would be colored. And that was not appropriate. And so what I tell boys and girls is that when you see uh, a picture that is not appropriate, you just say that. You shake your head, no. You say, that is not appropriate. And you keep your eyes right on going. Uh, you don't laugh and giggle and tell your neighbors to come over and look at it because that is not appropriate either. We have to be grown up about this when we're on the internet. But we also want you to be safe. This is part of digital safety or digital citizenship, being responsible when you are on the internet. And that is your lesson for today, a little digital citizenship and how to uh, find pictures when you're on Seesaw or other iPad apps. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.